Irvin had always been drawn to the mysterious and the macabre. So when he received an invitation to visit the infamous Dark Park, he couldn't resist. The park was notorious for its eerie atmosphere and unsettling attractions, but Irvin saw it as an opportunity for adventure. Little did he know, his decision would plunge him into a twisted tale of intrigue and danger. As Irvin arrived at the entrance of Dark Park, he was greeted by an imposing gate adorned with intricate metalwork depicting grotesque figures. A chill ran down his spine as he pushed open the gate and stepped into the park. The air was thick with an ominous silence, broken only by the distant sounds of creaking machinery and faint whispers carried by the wind. Irvin followed a winding path deeper into the park, passing by derelict rides shrouded in shadows. Each step filled him with a sense of unease, but he pressed on, driven by curiosity and a hint of excitement. Eventually, he came upon a decrepit ticket booth manned by a cloaked figure with piercing eyes. Welcome to Dark Park, the figure said in a voice that sent shivers down Irvin's spine. Your journey begins here, but beware, not all who enter return. Undeterred, Irvin handed over his ticket and stepped through the entrance gate. The park stretched out before him like a labyrinth of nightmares, with twisted pathways leading to unknown horrors. But Irvin was determined to uncover the secrets that lay hidden within. As he wandered deeper into the park, Irvin couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. Shadows danced at the corners of his vision, and strange whispers echoed in his ears. Yet, he pressed on, his curiosity overpowering his fear. Suddenly, Irvin stumbled upon a forgotten corner of the park, where an old carousal stood in the moonlight, its painted horses frozen in time. Drawn by a strange compulsion, he approached the carousal and reached out to touch one of the horses. But as his fingers brushed against the cold, lifeless wood, a voice echoed in his mind, chilling him to the bone. Welcome to Dark Park, Irvin, the voice whispered. Your journey has only just begun. And with that ominous warning ringing in his ears, Irvin realized that he had become entangled in something far more sinister than he could have ever imagined. Days turned into weeks, and Irvin found himself trapped within the twisted confines of Dark Park. Every attempt to escape was met with failure, as if the park itself conspired to keep him captive. Desperation gnawed at his sanity as he searched for a way out, but the park seemed to shift and change, leading him in endless circles. As Irvin delved deeper into the mysteries of Dark Park, he uncovered a web of deceit and betrayal that stretched back centuries. The park was not merely a place of entertainment but a prison for lost souls, bound by dark magic and ancient curses. Driven by a newfound determination, Irvin sought out the park's enigmatic creator, a man rumored to hold the key to unlocking its secrets. But with each step closer to the truth, he found himself ensnared in a deadly game of cat and mouse. Danger lurked around every corner as shadowy figures watched his every move and whispered warnings of impending doom. Yet Irvin refused to surrender to fear, knowing that his only hope of escape lay in unraveling the mysteries of Dark Park. As he delved deeper into the park's dark past, Irvin uncovered a hidden chamber beneath the carousel, where a sinister ritual had been performed centuries ago. It was here that he finally confronted the park's creator, a twisted figure shrouded in darkness. You cannot escape your fate, Irvin, the creator hissed, his eyes blazing with malice. Dark Park is your destiny, and you are but a pawn in my game. But Irvin refused to be cowed, confronting the creator with unwavering resolve. With a final, desperate act, he shattered the curse that bound him to Dark Park, breaking free from its clutches once and for all. As he emerged from the depths of the park, Irvin felt a sense of liberation wash over him knowing that he had triumphed over the forces of darkness. But as he looked back at the twisted spires of Dark Park, he knew that its secrets would haunt him forever, a reminder of the horrors that lurked just beyond the edge of reality. Despite his escape from Dark Park, Irvin couldn't shake the feeling that something lingered, a shadow that followed him wherever he went. Nightmares plagued his sleep, visions of twisted rides and echoing laughter haunting his every waking moment. He knew that his journey was far from over, 
and that the true battle lay ahead. Haunted by memories of the park's sinister secrets, Irvin delved deeper into the mysteries of Dark Park, determined to uncover the truth behind its malevolent influence. With each revelation, he uncovered a tangled web of lies and deceit, leading him to confront the darkness that lurked within his own soul. But as Irvin delved deeper into the heart of darkness, he realized that he was not alone. Shadows danced at the edges of his vision, whispers echoed in the silence, and a sense of dread hung heavy in the air. Yet he pressed on, driven by a relentless determination to confront the evil that had ensnared him. With each step forward, Irvin found himself facing greater challenges as the forces of darkness rallied against him. But he refused to surrender to despair, drawing strength from the flickering light of hope that burned within him. For he knew that only by confronting his deepest fears could he ever hope to find redemption. Whether it was the quiet desolation of an old factory or the overgrown pathways of a forgotten cemetery, he found solace in the solitude and mystery they offered. So when he heard rumors of a place called Dark Park, an abandoned amusement park hidden deep in the forest, his curiosity was immediately piqued. The stories surrounding Dark Park were shrouded in mystery and fear. Locals whispered about strange occurrences within its rusted gates and warned others to stay away. But David was undeterred. Armed with nothing but his camera and a sense of adventure, he set out to uncover the truth behind the legends. As he ventured deeper into the forest, the trees seemed to close in around him, casting eerie shadows that danced in the fading light. Finally, after what felt like hours of hiking, he stumbled upon the entrance to Dark Park. The once vibrant sign now lay broken and covered in graffiti, a grim welcome to those daring enough to enter. Undeterred, David pushed forward, his footsteps echoing off the decaying buildings that lined the overgrown pathways. The air was thick with the scent of mildew and decay, and he couldn't shake the feeling of being washed. As he explored further, David began to notice strange symbols etched into the walls and carved into the ground. They seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy, sending shivers down his spine. But still, he pressed on, his curiosity overriding his fear. It wasn't until he reached the heart of the park that things took a sinister turn. In the center of a dilapidated carnival ride, he stumbled upon a gruesome sight, a circle of candles surrounding a blood-stained altar. The air was heavy with the stench of death, and David knew he had stumbled upon something truly sinister. Before he could react, he heard footsteps approaching from behind. Whirling around, he found himself face to face with a hooded figure, their eyes gleaming with malice. And as the figure lunged forward, David realized he had walked straight into a nightmare from which there may be no escape. David's heart pounded in his chest as he stumbled backward, his mind racing with fear and adrenaline. He tried to make sense of the situation, but the hooded figure lunged again, forcing him to dodge out of the way just in time. With no time to spare, David turned and ran, his footsteps echoing through the abandoned park. Behind him, he could hear the figure giving chase, their footsteps like the pounding of a drum in the darkness. As he fled, David's mind raced with questions. Who was the hooded figure? What were they doing in Dark Park? And most importantly, how was he going to get out of this alive? With each passing moment, the forest seemed to grow darker, the trees closing in around him like silent sentinels. He could feel the figure closing in behind him, their presence like a cold breath on the back of his neck. Just when he thought he couldn't run any longer, David burst through the trees and into the clearing where he had entered Dark Park. Relief flooded through him as he realized he had made it out alive. But as he turned to leave, he felt a chill run down his spine. Standing at the edge of the clearing, bathed in the moonlight, was the hooded figure. Their eyes bore into his soul, promising an eternity of darkness and despair. With a final, chilling laugh, the figure vanished into the night, leaving David alone with his thoughts and the chilling realization that some mysteries were never meant to be uncovered. As he made his way back to civilization, he vowed never to return to Dark Park again. 
knowing that some horrors were best left undisturbed. David couldn't shake the feeling of unease that lingered long after he left Dark Park behind. The encounter with the hooded figure haunted his dreams, leaving him restless and on edge. Despite his vow to never return, David found himself drawn back to the memories of that fateful night. He spent countless hours poring over his photographs, searching for clues that might unravel the mystery of Dark Park and the sinister forces that lurked within. Months passed, and still, David's obsession with Dark Park consumed him. He scored old newspapers and online forums, piecing together fragments of information in a desperate attempt to make sense of what he had experienced. But the more he uncovered, the more he realized that Dark Park was no ordinary abandoned amusement park. It was a place of darkness and despair, a realm where nightmares became reality and those who dared to enter were forever changed. Determined to confront the darkness that had consumed him, David returned to Dark Park one final time. Armed with nothing but his camera and a newfound sense of resolve, he ventured deep into the heart of the forest, his footsteps echoing off the silent trees. As he reached the entrance to Dark Park, he felt a sense of dread wash over him. But he pushed forward, his determination overriding his fear. This time, he would uncover the truth no matter the cost. With each step, the air grew heavier, the atmosphere thick with malevolent energy. But David pressed on, his heart pounding in his chest as he approached the heart of the park. And then he saw it. The blood-stained altar, the circle of candles, the symbols etched into the ground. But this time, there was something different, something waiting. As David raised his camera to capture the scene, a voice echoed through the darkness, chilling him to the core. You should not have come back, David, it whispered, sending shivers down his spine. With a sinking feeling in his heart, David realized that he had walked straight into a trap. The hooded figure emerged from the shadows, their eyes gleaming with malice as they advanced towards him. But instead of fleeing, David stood his ground. He refused to let fear dictate his actions any longer. With a newfound sense of courage, he confronted the figure head-on, ready to face whatever horrors awaited him. As the two locked eyes, a powerful surge of energy coursed through David's veins. In that moment, he realized that he held the key to defeating the darkness that had consumed Dark Park. With a mighty roar, David unleashed the full force of his willpower banishing the hooded figure back into the shadows from whence it came. The air crackled with energy as the darkness receded, leaving behind a sense of peace and tranquility. As David emerged from Dark Park, he knew that he had finally conquered his demons. Though the memories of that fateful night would always haunt him, he had emerged stronger and more resilient than ever before. With a sense of closure in his heart, David turned his back on Dark Park for the final time. Knowing that he had triumphed over the darkness that had once threatened to consume him, and as he walked away, he knew that he would never be the same again. But he was okay with that, for he had faced his fears and emerged victorious.